But what if the missing is instead of interest, the missing is either principal, the rate, or the time? So what will you do? So this one is the original um, formula for the missing interest. But if, just in case, the missing one is either the principal, the rate, or the time, this is what you are going to do. You are going to present interest always at the top or it should be part of your numerator so principal rate and time so example what if the missing is the principal so what you are going to do is p or principal is equals to i divided by rate over time and if the missing is the rate you are going to compute interest over principal multiplied by time and if the missing is the time, then again, T is equals to interest, the numerator, and then the denominator will be principal multiplied by R. Um, I will put some sample here or sample problem and then we compute. Second problem, uh, the missing one is the rate. So rate, so this one is the missing one. Uh, what if the time is... Um, 8 years. So, example, this is 8 years. And then, we have the principal of 420,000. And then, uh, we have the interest of 75,000. Okay. Uh, 375,000. So, here we have R is equals to I over PT or rate is equals to interest divided by principal multiplied by time. So, the given problem is interest is 375,000. Okay? Then, you divide it by the principal of 420,000 and then multiply it by 8 years. Okay? So, what we need to do now is to compute first the denominator. So the, so, the denominator is 420,000 multiplied by 8 years. So, we have the denominator of so much, 3,360,000. And then, original in, interest is 375. So, we divide it by 375,000 divided by 3,360,000. So, we have 11.16% a month. So, it's too much. But anyway, that's the computation of the rate. So, what we're going to do with the, in, uh, with the entry? So, entry is already given. So, we have the principal of 420,000 and we have the interest of 375,000. So, the entry will be uh, debit, accounts payable, or notes payable. So, it's either of the two. Uh, we call it accounts payable when there is no documents uh, signed by the borrower. But, if there is a document, instead of putting it as accounts payable, we put it as a notes payable. So, that's the difference between the two. So, the notes payable is the principal amount that they borrowed, which is 420, uh, with the condition that they will pay this amount after 8 years. So, and because it's so much time, the interest is already almost the same, which is 375,000 interest. So, this one is 375,000 interest. So, the cash that she's going to pay after 8 years will be 375000 plus 420000 So, she's going to pay 795000 after 8 years. So, this is the debit and this is the credit side. 